Hey guys, this entire time that we've been doing a let's play of the visual novel Echo, there's been this question of like, are you going to cover Arches when it comes out? It's actually going to be finished soon. And Arches is this kind of sequel to Echo. It's not a narrative sequel and that it doesn't follow after any of the endings of Echo because none of the endings of Echo are canon and it doesn't feature any of the protagonists of Echo. But it does have people arriving in Echo after the events of Echo, whatever those may be. The ambiguous occurrences of what happened in Echo in whatever timeline this may or may not be in. And it's really good. Uh, Toaster and I ended up recording the entire thing last week, and it's all ready and all up on YouTube. But right now we're airing the TJ Echo because we... The TJ Echo. The TJ route of Echo because Stephanie and I unexpectedly got a lot of progress done out of uh, on that one day. So it became a thing where like I thought I was going to air, air Arches next, but it turns out I'm actually going to be airing TJ next. And so Arches is just kind of sitting there in limbo. And I thought, okay, well, this is a good opportunity to promote my Patreon, which I do not do enough to promote, even though it's the entire reason I can make a living doing this and why I can focus on doing this Let's Play channel as much as I do. And uh, that's becoming increasingly true. Like, uh... Once upon a time, I was only able to quit my job and do this beca because I launched my Patreon and that changed everything at the time. And uh, things have not been as good lately as they have been in the past. Uh, so when I looked at my analytics this week, I saw that uh, in April 2023, I made about half as much from YouTube as I did in April 2022. And that's just... Not great news. <laughs> so YouTube doesn't exactly have my back. So I do need to try to make uh, Patreon look as good as I can, which can be a struggle because I'm doing this Let's Play channel and I do the streams and I do the podcast and then I try to have a life <laughs> on some level, but I also try to put work into writing scripts so I can make video essays and I'm trying to become more comfortable with making shorter maybe less important scripts and becoming comfortable with that because I do need to make more stuff for the video essay channel. I have a problem where out of every 10 scripts I start, I finish like one of them. And it's like this issue of like, like having confidence in that what I have to say is worth like finishing and that these ideas are worth uh, fleshing out or hitting a dead end where I think that like, I just no no, this is not a good video. So I, I am I am trying to write all the time, so it's, I know it can be frustrating to hear me t uh, talk about that while not putting out videos on that channel. But part of why I'm able to put so much time into writing scripts for the vid the video essay channel is also because Patreon keeps me afloat, even if the Let's Play channel itself does not do so. So in the meantime, Arches, I'm putting it on Patreon. You can watch the you can watch Arches on Patreon early right now. It's you can do you could spend you could subscribe to my Patreon. And just start binging arches immediately. Uh, there is a caveat there, which is that only 20 of the 22 episodes of this playthrough are currently available to Patreon. And that's for a very honorable and good reason, which is that uh, you, I can't, I, it's just, it would be bad to put the last two on Patreon. It, it would be leaking somebody else's content. And that's because uh, arches only recently came out in its final finished build on the Echo uh, Project Patreon, which I have access to because I'm on their Patreon. But if I if I let's played their Patreon exclusive content, I'm basically just leaking it. And that's just unethical. So I'm not giving you guys the final two episodes until Arches' final build becomes public. So it's recorded, it's ready. But uh, it'll it's just it just has to wait until that happens for what I th I think are understandable and obvious reasons. Uh, but you can watch the first twenty episodes, which goes all the way up through the let's say the conclusion of the primary conflict. And the last two episodes are more of an epilogue that wraps up the story and deals with wh what the consequences of the of the story for the characters and so on. So it's not like a cliffhanger exactly. It's just not. The epilogue. The epilogue's not there. Uh, so it's not going to be that frustrating to watch, necessarily. It's not going to cut off right in the middle of, like, an action scene and be like, Alright, come back later. But anyway, that's that's the situation. You can watch 20 episodes of Arches right now, and you can support the channel. And that's my solution for the fact that I have a completed playthrough uh, all ready to go. But 
it just doesn't actually fit the schedule right now because it's going to air after TJ's route airs. Uh, if I build my backlog up more and I encounter more short-ish games that I can finish in their entirety before I air, they're even ready to air, uh, I might do this more in the future just to kind of give Patreon more. Because like there's a in times like right now, the primary incentive for Patreon is to vote on the Patreon slot of the schedule. But since you guys picked uh, Fallout New Vegas and that's a long game, we've already gone more than a month since the last vote. And so it's kind of nice to have a perk here and there in between those moments so that there's a reason to be subscribed if you're primarily incentivized by perks. Hopefully this leads to an increase in subscriptions, not a decrease, because any kind of post on Patreon does kind of have a double-edged sword aspect where you're like you're hoping that it brings new people in because anytime you post on Patreon it emails all the people on your Patreon and some of those people see that see that reminder that they're subscribed to you as, as a reason to unsubscribe so I actually sometimes make perks for Patreon where no one subscribes but several people unsubscribe and that's a bummer so hopefully that's not one of those <laughs> But anyway, uh, thank you to Paint Fox for making the new thumbnail art. We've continued the trend where we have, be between Haps, Stardust Pup, and Paint Fox, we have uh, the sprite artist of the game draw our characters in Ad Astra and Echo and now Arches. So that's been cool. I also think that you're going to like, I know that some of you are going to miss Stephanie because it is a change to go from Stephanie to Toaster, but I think you're going to like what Toaster brings to the table because he has very, very specific expertise and experience that directly ties into several plot points of arches and so there's actually some really interesting uh, add-ons here like there's he brings some really in interesting different stuff to the table uh and uh i think you guys you guys have liked him in the other stuff already so there's there's no reason to think that he wouldn't be fun here and also uh the first person to watch this playthrough has turned out to be uh paint fox himself because i uh, i leaked the playthrough to a couple of people uh privately uh that have helped me out with stuff and uh paint fox flatteringly has also said that like uh our voices are apparently exactly what he figures devon and cameron would sound like so that's really cool and he seems to be enjoying the playthrough so it's paint fox approved go watch arches i'll see you guys later <laughs> link in the description right that part's important <laughs> so what do you know about paranormal investigation you said you did research? Turns out you just run around with a flashlight, call the ghosts a bitch. <laughs> wow. They watched they watched my let's play of, of yeah. uh, whatever it's called. Phantom Phantom supposed to be Phantasmagoria. What the fuck is that game called? Yeah. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. He's <laughs> he's applied to the Andrew school of ghost hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Damn, sorry. Didn't know the reality show ghost hunts were such a sore spot for you. They single-handedly ruined the credibility of actual investigations. Like those YouTubers that got caught faking it. And those YouTubers <laughs> that got caught faking it. And those YouTubers that... <laughs>